Hello. Hi. Welcome to our podcast. It's the 17th yes. episode of Cashmere Goat and I'm Iris. And I'm Kristen. And this is Chit Chat and Knit or update you on lots of things yeah. or what it may be. Yes, we're just kind of rolling along off the cuff here, but we have some stuff we wanted to show you. Uh, we are having a bustling time with our sale. Uh, we're having a sale through February 12th on all yarn. 20% so, off. Yeah, so it's a good sale and people really are showing up. It's a really, so thank it's you for a, showing up. such a good time for a yarn sale. It is. Midwinter, either you're, you know, it might be just needing an infusion of some color yeah. in your life or, you know, we had somebody who was like, I have this project, I really like it, but I just, uh, I can't right now. <laughs> Yeah, so, we all, we've all been there. Just needed a little palate cleanser break. Yes, and I actually, years ago I worked at a yarn store and they did this. And I remember, like for me, before I even worked there, I was like, that was when I would buy my yarn. Like, there, you have to pay for more things around this time of year. Winter can be expensive. Mm -hmm. And so it was always a great time for a sale. So... I just carried on the tradition. Smart. <laughs> what are you wearing today? I am wearing the Cottage... Cottage Rose? Cottage Rose. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> and it is made out of On the Round, Plush Single, and this color is called... Himalayan Salt. Oh, yeah. I always think of the breast petal, which it's similar to, but different. And by a design by Birch Tree Knits. Yes. Hi, our friend Alice. Nice Birthday textures. Nets. It's a gorgeous one skein and so wonder. Soft and cozy. Mm. Which who doesn't want soft and cozy? And Kristen February? is flying in the face of the rules to like not wear pink and red. Because we I don't am. abide by those rules anymore. We if don't. you like the colors, wear them. That's right. the philosophy here. So also <laughs> Valentine's Day, it's coming. Also Valentine's Day. I'm wearing my finished carp bath. Yay. This is for our carbeth knit along and I just love the carp scale pattern so much, and it's such a fun. And the, the fit is fabulous. It's a good fit. Sparkle. Oh no, it's the light from the mic. It's the light from the mic <laughs> under there. A sparkle. a sparkle under there. No, it's the light from the mic. But it's it's in eco tweed by Ella Ray. Um, so it's this beautiful tide colorway, and there's some bitty bitty flecks of blue and orange it's hard to perceive the flecks on camera actually but in real life you can see them better um and what i'll say is we have had a lot of people choose this yarn and they really like it it's soft yeah it's at, it's so it's a 75 merino 25 poly blend so it is washable in the machine which is convenient mm, yes. but it has a softness and i have to think that that comes from the acrylic a little bit and, yes uh, yeah. and the merino and the, well, I mean, the merino yeah merino is pretty soft but people really like the way it knits up and how it feels it looks great in the car it's bath. had a lot of uh good reviews it's a newer yarn for us mm -hmm. and it's people are loving it yeah yep um and I'm actually using it for another project that I'm knitting on right yes. now. So I'm using this colorway of the Eco Tweed Chunky. And this is the colorway Twilight, which I have been meaning to get some new pictures of oh, these online because yeah. on the website, you know, the, the p image that we use from the yarn distributor, this is just not anything like what I'm holding well, in my hand Well, I didn't order here. it at first, and then Miranda was like, this is what she's it's making for a garb out there. So great. And once again, it's hard to perceive these little flecks of color, but they are there, and it just makes it fun. It's really a true ultramarine, and so I'm knitting on my own uh, test knit, actually, for my own um, sweater design. I'm knitting it into different size, not my size. This is for a loved one of mine. And it's a top-down raglan that I've got started here. So it's fun. It's a different gauge than this. So it's a little more uh, firm textured fabric, but Iris loving it. This is for a sweater pattern. Da -da. <laughs> so it's being test knit, and it's yeah. super fun to see what folks and are And you've seen her wear. She has two sweaters in it. That's the confetti sweater, which is white with all 
blips of color and then the one the other miss mystery right mystery, mystery. yes it's, so it's like it's red rainbows. and pink and rainbow and flex and yeah yeah so we're excited about that it's fun and fun to see something mm -hmm. that has only been in my mind like come out in other people's hands yeah, it's so, fun and okay. people were like asking her for it Aww. so that was exciting it's very fun i have a finished object too okay. besides for oh, this yes, you do i have something a little wild are you ready for it <laughs> i think they're ready they're ready this is my new just off the needles muscle Musselburg, or I've seen some people online say muscleboro and i'm gonna research that because you know coming from massachusetts we have war we have we say worcester but it's spelled warchester yeah. you know maine there's plenty of names like that so oh, my hair so i don't know if so, it's and she's over in the uk right right isolda so, teague yes so the muscleberg muscle whatever is a reversible beanie and so i've got this side which has a fuzzy mohair fade and then i've got a stripey side and so the stripey side is these crazy neon i bought a mini skein set that was these neons and with gray and then i can fold it up if i want or i can just have it like beanie style more relaxed we're not gonna lose her in the crowd you'll see me in the grocery store coming for you <laughs> so it's really warm i love the double thickness and it's a very cool oh, knit. Yeah. open them up open it up and show them yes. Ta-da! so you cast on at one end pinhole cast on which i'd not done in knitting before and then you're performing your increases then you just get to knit a whole lot straight and at the other end you decrease and had I not made a lot of work for myself with these stripes and the color change. And then you knit it twice. And then I kind of knit it twice because the first time, <laughs> anyway, long story. Um, it could be a very just sort of mindless knit after you mm -hmm. do those increases. So, I, And the gauge is cool because it's anything from light fingering to DK. So yeah. um, you have some a lot of really nice options. Oh, yeah, you, I have wanted to make one. The hat's been around for a long time. It's been having a little resurgence, resurgence. lately yep. with good reason. And I had wanted to make one, and I never did. And now, of course, now I want to again. Like, yeah. what if you put that cashmere on the inside? Oh, yeah. Cashmere dream. <laughs> yes. You would that be dreamy? That would be dreamy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So fun times with that. <clears throat> I do not have a finished object. But you have some but show I, and tell. But I have, I'm working on, I'm working away on my carpet. So if you have not finished yours yet, okay. you're in good company. Yep. Um, I'm using Sweeto from Noro and I've done my body. Um, and you can see it's got a uh, lace pattern down the front. And this wool is just so rich in color it looks like gray but then when you're knitting it's this is such fun entertaining yarn to knit i often will get bored with stockinette but this yarn is n not boring at all and the lace is on front and back yeah it's, it's the swan dance and, back, and it's on um the sleeves which i've finished one and it's a tunic length which is a really nice option yes. it's going to be something i don't think you'll want to take off i yeah i'm i'm actually super excited to wear this sweater um, and so I am working on my second sleeve. I'm almost done with the second sleeve, but I am gonna go back and add um, another uh, um, section of lace just to make it a little longer because I tried one on yesterday that someone happened to make just in my size. So I was like, okay, now I know exactly what I need to do. And I just want it to be a little longer so I can wear it with the leggings and not have any and you know not have anything else and uh that's how i like to wear my leggings full coverage mm -hmm. um so i love this yarn another it's number no, seven noro suedo super and, favorite for the knit along and um <clears throat> super favorite i've got more coming in so I how do many how many of those did we start out with like nine balls big we balls way more than that. 12 like it was a lot and we kind of thought like oh we had a lot. We and, had a lot to start. Um, and so it's just beautiful. And once you see it knit up, it's even more beautiful. But it comes in those dragon eggs. Like, well, 
you can't see, that's not a dragon egg anymore. <laughs> sort of a flop fest. This one mostly is. This mm. one's mostly mm -hmm. left. But they look beautiful even without knitting them. Mm -hmm. And so it's it's a lovely yarn. I'm I'm loving it. I'm so excited to wear it. Um we're seeing so many of the finished Carbeths come in. Oh my gosh, we have someone that was here Sunday that wore her second her one. Her second in. one that she cranked out. Yeah. And then we have people who are like maybe just about to cast on for their first. Um yes, we have we have every everybody's having a, lo a lot of fun with it and the people that have finished just seem really happy and what we keep hearing is i don't want to take this sweater off oh, like yeah. i keep wearing it day it's after true. day and i have to keep telling myself i have to wear my other sweaters it's, it's true actually there, there's uh we have somebody that's in our knitting group <laughs> and she chose the same color as me and i feel like i'm gonna be the same way yeah. so i feel like it's gonna match everything so the other thing about the knit that um i noticed because we've had so many people finish them is that it really seems to fit a mm. lot of bodies mm. and look really nicely. Um, yep. And so we're always a swan, fan of a sweater that uh, that you're able to do that with. Mm -hmm. yep. yep. So. Yeah. That's it's a it was a good choice, and you know we've been thinking about our other knit alongs. And we're gonna announce yeah, yeah. our our March knit along. Oh yes, next week. Next week we'll announce it. We'll do a little special video announcement on February fourteenth. Mm -hmm. It'll be a Valentine's Day treat for you. Yeah, <laughs> we've got some really cool stuff planned. So we do. We're excited. We are excited. So. Um, and well, we have, uh, we've gotten a lot of fun things in the last couple days. Yes. So we're going to share some with you. And first, first up, something that we opened yesterday. We barely had time to unpack anything we didn't. yesterday. Like, this which is, box is not mm -hmm. unpacked. Yep. Um, we might, like, maybe we'll do a little of that on this podcast yes, too. Yes, we're going to try. All right. So, um, Kristen surprised me and we had this box and she's like, I think you should open it because I think you're going to like what's inside. <laughs> Well, she was right because it was stickers and pins from what is it called? The Camp Stitchwood. Camp Stitchwood, yeah. So wait for this. For, so first, of course, my eye falls right on this, <laughs> and then this, which says Rainbow Knitter, and I was like, I feel very marketed to right now. Were you thinking of me <laughs> when you <laughs> ordered these? Not ever. Um, but there are some really beautiful, beautiful stickers that we've got. Um, this one is really fun for the yarn loving book lover. Um, it says things like tangles of terror on these book spines. Search for the missing dye lot. The, the dropped the stitch. The dropped stitch. <laughs> so cute. Um, we also this have one this, I love. I love this like crochet mandala kind of a vibe. Sunflower. Sticker. It's beautiful. Um, and then this was a really sweet one. Only pack the essentials. And it's like a backpack just stuffed full of yarn which is relatable relatable <laughs> then we've got the pins and I just picked a few of them so local yarn store regular you know who you are yes you know who you are <laughs> and then we have for the sock knitters out there team toe up and team top down <laughs> controversial um I like this one frog queen <laughs> We know who we are. We do. <laughs> and then these are two great ones. Cast on itis and the procrastinator. <laughs> I kind of want them all. Uh, I, tar I targeted my Collect too. them all. <laughs> yes. So anyway, that's that was some joy. So it, was, uh, it was fun. Very, very, very fun, fun to unpack. And we are having a uh, Delacue trunk show. Or, or we're trying to. And so they sent us the stuff. And Just you guys be careful putting seen... it on the table. Yes. Might be loud for you. Sorry, Sorry guys. <laughs> I'll hold it. How about if I hold it? Right? You hold that. I'll be like Vanna Wipes. <laughs> what do we have in this box? <laughs> you guys have seen these, but this is the um, Delacue train case. In the teal. In super the popular teal. color. And that comes out. And there's... Oh. So we do have, we, I actually have some of these coming in, but with the trunk show, you can order whatever you want and they will send it directly to you. So you, so it's a pre-order through us kind of a thing or? 
Yes. So we haven't even looked at this. I don't know. This is a literal unboxing. I mean, it's happening live. Oh, they, they're advertising this to mm. us that we can get O snaps with. With our logo? Our logo oh. on it or anything we mm. want on it. So okay. you can give us your opinion about that. And these are... Well, actually, let me pause for a minute because yeah. somebody was in here yesterday looking for project bags with our logo on it. Mm -hmm. And was looking at some of the fabric ones we have and I'm like, but it doesn't say cashmere goat. And I was like, mm -hmm. oh, so. But we do mm -hmm. have the big one. Yeah, and, and she, she was like too that. big. Too big. She, yeah. And these are just, these are extra large. Extra lar a large, large, a large and extra, extra large, large, I think. Yep. And which we have. We typically have those. So this is what we're gonna find out. Sorry, I put it on the table. It's okay. Again. You I'm trying not to startle you. We're helping helping each other out. Uh, is this a midi backpack? I think so. We have lots of these in stock. The midi backpack is gorgeous. Miranda has one, and it's just so cute. And I did a little video of like comparing some of the size bags. So if you, we'll try to link that down below. But midi backpack is one of the newest items. And it's just a super little size. Very cute. Do things that we don't have. Yeah. So this is the Everyday Needle Case Collection. Uh, everyday Collection. Sorry, I was reading upside down. Needle Case. Huh. Um, and it's canvas. Uh, let's see. I thought this is a magnet. No, it's an actual closure. Mm. Which is good. Yeah. Sometimes I'm like, oh, magnets are convenient, but they don't hold things oh, quite. Oh, look at this. Oh, that's this nice. This is nice. So this is for interchangeables or double points, oh, I'd say. Oh, great. Uh, and it's a, Ooh, uh, it's a nice, heavy canvas. canvas. I have this. A couple pockets back here, oh, too. Yeah, you could put a ton of circulars back here. Also, look how cute this is. A little clippy for your stitch markers. And scissors. Oh, and scissors. Are they gold? Because, like, that, the normal is a dark scissor. Oh, oh these are different scissors. Mm, different scissor. What's wow. That? They're sharp. They're really pointy. Really sharp. Watch out. Um, so, this for me, I have this... Um, I have this thing for my double pointed needles and I have been like, I need, I need something else because they constantly fall out of it. Mm -hmm. so that, that the buckle is a great idea, isn't it? <clears throat> I mean, they put, they put scissors in there. We already have those two. Um, okay. This is something that I really wanted to get because we've never had this and I'm always like, oh, I'll get that next time. But then I'm reordering and, and I don't. I'm trying really hard to remember, and I'm doing a bad job. <laughs> Bear with us. Bear with us. Yeah. This is a true unboxing. It really is. We don't know what is coming. So Ooh. this is the mini messenger. Mini so messenger. it's like one of those, like crossbody. Or I would wear it like over the this, shoulder, over one shoulder. Mm -hmm. um, it's not too big. I actually really like this. You could use it for a purse. Mm -hmm. um, so there's a handle up here, nice. handle up here, and then this. Oh, and there's a pocket in the back. Oh, and cool that you can. Um, oh, you can change which side. Change you which want side. Out. There's like a buckle here so and a buckle here. So if you're a left here. or a right person, you get to choose. Mm -hmm. And there's a zipper oh, pouch in the nice. front. And I'm just making sure I like that could be great for everything. a phone or something. I always yes. like to have my phone like handy, but me too. Okay, and this one opens mm. like this. So there's pockets in here. Nice. There's three pockets. It's it's and there's one more zipper in the back. There's like this guy here. Oh. There's even more. There's more. I was like, oh, it's not as big as I thought. And I'm like, well, because you're not in the main compartment, apparently. <gasps> oh, oh, yeah. So here's where your knitting goes. Here's where your knitting goes. So it's separate from all your other stuff. Oh, that's so smart. And it's got the, um, oh, yeah. the cutter. Watch your hands on those. And the uh, yarn, yarn threader. threader. And another pocket with a snap, and then something to put needles or pens or whatever. That's great. Um, it's really nice. Mm. 
so we don't have these in stock but this is something you can order through us right now and it will get shipped directly to you cool you probably should know the price but I would don't. people like email i'm not sure okay <laughs> Call unboxing. us. Yeah, call, call us, us. Email us, mm -hmm. and we'll give you the deets. Yep, sounds good. Um, a rucksack, which we have, and you guys have seen. Also in that other video that I did. Oh, and we only have these in stock, but I'll just pull it out because who doesn't love the Maker's Mesh? Maker's Mesh. And you I, love the Maker's Mesh. I you just actually, got yourself one. I like it more than I thought I would. And one of the things I really like about it is this zipper mesh pocket because I can put my patterns in mm. here and um, and then oh, oh we just gosh. zippered it <laughs> <laughs> and I it fits a full piece of mm -hmm. paper and you can see through it. Yeah. Um, these are 78. Nice sturdy snaps too. And they have an O snap mm. with a canvas back. And it comes with scissors that coordinate. With scissors and a long Over strap. the shoulder. What I like about it is because it has, because it's mesh, mm. I don't just shove everything in it because I don't like the way that looks. Yep. So I, I, um, I, it just has my knitting, which is good for me because I tend to shove a lot of things in bags, we'll just say. Oh, this is exciting too. Good things come in small packages. We haven't had these for a little while. We haven't. This is the buddy case. And it comes so in different cute. Colors. It's like the train case had a baby. <laughs> <laughs> one of our customers has one of these and she had it on um, with her on Sunday and it's magnetic. And so she had all her needle holders and pins and her scissors and everything was just not falling. So just stuck it's there. Awesome. And it's small um, but mighty and cute as can be. So this is the teal. It comes in a lot of different colors. Mm -hmm. And we have not figured out that whole trunk show part yet. So bad on us, but just let us know and we are going to figure that out when we're done with our video. Mm -hmm. And then we have... Oh, we literally didn't even open this, so we have some plastic tape. Do we, have, we have some scissors. Oh, we do, don't we? we do. Look, we could use the scissors. We can use the scissors inappropriately. <laughs> Let's see. And this one, I did a little unboxing of when we got them. I think it was right around Christmas. Mm. And they all sold instantly. I do have more coming, but you can get them. If you want, you just let us know. Ooh, that's a such a good color. Here, you pull, I'll pull. This is a hat box. Oh, How yes. cool is that? <sighs> I think I might like this one in the train case. It's so cool. And it comes with a measuring tape, scissors, needles. And look at these little elastic -y uh -huh. things for, you know, ne maybe yeah. needles specific to a project you're using right now. I know, snap. Oh, and look, it's like one of the big ones. It's with got the a little, little zippy. Zipper. It's got a little zipper mm. on it and a strap. And what you can do is you can put your project in here. And, well, you put your yarn in. Let's use yours. Okay. You put your yarn in. Yep. And have it coming out. Oh, yeah. And you can do this with the train case, too. So then you're like, on my train, on my car trip. Or you have I'm pets that bug you while you're knitting. Pets and that bother you. We hear about we that. We hear about that. So this is actually a good solution because most people use bags mm -hmm. because that's what we have. Yep. But you can't zipper your bag it's really, up. really, really a nice feeling. And I always love the the delicate detail of the little, oh, yeah. the little feet on the bottom that, you know, just so it's yeah. not sitting in the... And this is where the straps yeah. go if you want them. Or you can just hold it like this. Super cute. Very cute. Makes definite, a definite statement a knitting group, too. Like when people have their hat box open up with their pattern. It's so true. Very so cute. True. All, right. All right. So that was that. Do you want to talk about 
this next so i'm sure most of you have seen these online we did a video about this like a week and a half ago or mm -hmm. two weeks ago and we'd gotten our first sets and we sold them all and um we reordered and we actually just got we're able to reorder again at the end of the week last week so we have these in stock i think there's eight sets of them mm -hmm. Um, they're the Chaigu Forte 2.0. We'll, we'll link to the unboxing video down below, too, so you can so watch these, that. So um, these are, someone called them the other day, the bougie needle set. <laughs> Very special. <laughs> they come in, you know, a sturdy little box. I, I love the box. Love the boxes, great packaging. And then they're all protected and neat in this little canvas and it's it's a it's a beautiful full interchangeable set um a little embossment i don't want to do the whole thing but i'll no, just show I'll you just what's inside it you. so it's it's the small size needles are carbon fiber so on this side we've got carbon fiber needles oops it's snap it's on, on the snap which is a feature you can take it you off can take it off and just take your needles so carbon fiber on this side in the smalls with stainless tips down here. And on this side, these are the African blackwood. Again, stainless tips. And the African blackwood, come to find out, is the same material as a uh, clarinet. Oh, they that's learned. the instrument. Yeah. And then you've got like this full little compartment of your notions, zipper for your cables. It does come with the cables, cables, the swivels too, which is a big improvement on the last set, I guess. Yes, and they come with the red cables too, which is an addition. And that brings us to the last set, which we did not sell, which I'm actually glad we didn't have because there were issues with it. And there was some snagging issues and some breaking issues. It's why the smaller needles are carbon fiber now mm -hmm. instead of African blackwood because I, they were, there were some breakage. And so if you have an old set, and there are issues with it, write a letter to Chaigu, find their website, and they should offer you replacement parts for anything mm. that has broken. Um, it's, a, it's not an inexpensive set, and they have addressed their issues. Mm -hmm. And uh, Based um, on knitter feedback, which based is Based on great. what knitter feedback. I haven't tried them yet, and I was going to uh, do that for this video, but I, I was late. I did not do that because it was just one more thing. Uh, but the um, customers that we've heard from that have yes. bought this set seem to be really happy. We haven't heard any poor right. reports. Well, we did hear a few poor reports. But like not <laughs> from our customers. <laughs> we've had some. We had, Iris was the first one to do a video on YouTube about this new set. There are a bunch of older ones. And we got a lot of positive response. But then there were people started <laughs> saying... I, I think they were talking about the older set, actually. I don't know, I but don't they know. decided that it was um, that I, that we, that we, that I was doing the video oh. because I clearly had gotten a, uh, my own set, you know, to sweeten the deal to give a good review. Yeah, and um and uh, that was definitely not true. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was it was not a review of the needles Sorry, either. I didn't it was give you a case. it was clearly an <laughs> unboxing video where I went into more it wasn't detail. Even a review. It was an unboxing. Yeah, because we um, just got them and they were flying out the door. And so we just snagged a couple and did a simple unboxing and people were like well this good review must be because she's getting a uh, <laughs> and they mentioned another person who we're just not gonna we don't have to name no. them but they said well so and so uh gives this a hey you know does not think this is worth it and we had a couple people refer to that yeah. um so and so and you know, apparently that so-and-so finds chow goo needles quite loud yes. and quite scratchy when you're oh, knitting yes. with them, which is... He described them as having a grinding sound? Grinding sound, so... Mm -hmm. So what do you think? Are they grinding? I, I, I hear sliding. <laughs> um, we don't think they're grinding. I don't think they're grinding, Maybe but... Maybe we're just not as sensitive it, to this. Possible, but it also brings to the important point of, you know what? There are needles for everybody. There and are. this particular individual highly rated some needles that are not my personal favorites. Right. 
I love a chow goo needle. I don't prefer wood. We've got plenty of customers mm -hmm. who come in. They want a wooden needle. Yep. Great. Um, that's why we carry different yeah. needles. Yep. So you do you. And, and we did try to watch his needle review. But his, his review of Forte, but it was behind a paywall, so. Which we thought was a little bit ironic. Yeah, it was kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> he shall remain nameless. Anyway, oh. funny times um, yes. online with us, yes. so that was and cute. And if you have this set and you like it, please go to our video and say that. <laughs> yeah, you could totally do that. Yep, just so. give your feedback. So, and well, we, you may have noticed <gasps> this. Wait, hold it against my sweater. Look at these two colors yes, together. And I'll hold what? this one against mine. <gasps> this is, we did not really plan this, but look how well <laughs> this is planned. Wow. We did not plan this at all. How <gasps> funny. So, uh, mm. Scout and Bean, the lovely, lovely designer and maker of this ba uh, Camden basket. Bucket. Bucket. Camden, Camden bucket. bucket, sorry. Scout and Bean, uh, one of our favorite vendors, she's amazing. She's right in Lincolnville, which is the next town over, makes these rope buckets and they are sturdy. Like, like you can squeeze them, but then they pop back out and they are, you can hold water in this. It will eventually leak, but it's done so tightly that you can fill this up with water. And these are ice dyed, which is super cool process. Yes. And yes. so it gives them a tonal quality. Yep. And we've had these for a while. And I, I was like, we need some more muted colors, mm. some wintry colors, because we have a lot of like summertime, candy, bright, right? Summer. And so these ones are much mm. more subdued. They're more, more to my taste. There's actually. a, I think there's a, a, like a more persimmon red. Yep. There's this. There's a darker green. There's yeah. They're and they're all on the website, and they're just a lovely knitting basket. As long or as, some people are like, I put my lunch and go to work, and yeah, it fits use, a water bottle. Uses, I know someone uses them for a purse. I mean, they're they're great. She is her products are amazing. Really um, nice quality. So yeah. that is, I think, like <sighs> just a lot of show and tell lots today. Of show isn't and tell. It? Not it's a lot fun. of not a lot not a lot of knitting. We didn't actually do our chit chat in it. It was more mm -hmm. of a show and tell. Mm, sounds smooth. Can you hear it? <laughs> oh well we should probably wrap this one yeah, up i don't know i don't, really watch I think we've... I don't know what time it is mm, yeah it's time about that time done. yeah <laughs> well thank you so much for watching yes, and you. leave us a comment if you enjoyed yourself here we always appreciate the fact that we've got some new viewers so if yes. you're new we should say this at the beginning but thank you for finding us yes. um if you made it this far if you made it this far <laughs> too and yeah give us a like don't forget to subscribe to the channel um and to all of our social media instagram yeah. facebook right and for things. all of our regular viewers thank you thank you also yeah we appreciate you very much it's and really fun i'm, I'm always amazed that people make it to the end <laughs> but then i go home and watch them too which is which so is nerdy <laughs> really funny to see how silly we can be but yeah. we have a good time and hopefully yeah. you do too yes. and um yeah so thanks for watching. Yes. See you next week. Happy making. Bye. <laughs>